Hello YouTube friends. Let me show you something here. What I'm doing here is um, I'm trying to fabricate a um, like a coil winding kind of jig with kind of existing stuff I got laying around the house and I did have to buy like something and let me show you what I got here and I want, just want to show you I'm getting really delayed because uh, I'm not getting the wire in the number 40 wire is hard for the vendor to get and he's tried different warehouses the guy I got wire from before and he said uh, he's just having a hard time getting the number 40 wire it's it's not in yet so I'm waiting for him to ship out but what I got here is a drill battery powered drill and uh, it's supported with a shim here underneath here and the the uh, drill is securely fastened to this board with a exhaust clamp from a probably an Oldsmobile like there and I have a good old-fashioned brick that holds that board steady against the the big box here which I got my radio chassis in so I guess the radio chassis kinda acts as a um, as a nice backstop too which made me feel good in and expect their their chassis to be like a paperweight or something but that's what I got right now so what I got here though is a it's a counter from Fargo controls and this costs about 28 bucks and I figure it's a lot better trying to count with a counter I zeroed it out than trying to count like counting because I don't know how high I could really count anymore so uh, anyway I got that and that uses a magnetic proximity sensor here I have uh, screwed into the board and I was, I was uh, miscalculating my first hole so I drill another hole next to it so I actually have a, a slot for adjustment and if you notice here I'm going to spin this drill a little bit I have a, a brass um, piece of metal here I had laying around and it fits in that indentation on the coil form so it keeps it from spinning all the way around and on the other side of that I have um, glued a uh, hot glued uh, magnet to it and I do have this whole assembly a little loose because I'm going to use this to pull the wire off and dewire this coil form and then um, when it passes here see it passes this, magnet, this magnetic proximity switch and it looks like it hit it. it wasn't supposed to hit it okay I need a little adjustments here see the adjustment is in the drill itself okay what's going to happen here is that this system is going to go around and it comes close to the magnetic proximity switch and it counts on the counter so I'm going to actuate the drill here and I know it's hard to see the LCD but I hope you can see it counting up and here's the magnetic switch here now the the fast the fastest this switch could pick up is 230 cycles per second so I'm way under that so it goes around there's like little reed switches in that magnetic sensor and when the magnet comes around the switches deform to make contact and then it makes contact from normally open to, to closed normally open closed normally open closed and then the counter will count up now this is going to be a lot better than trying to count it by hand so, so that's what I'm doing now 
So, I got this kind of all set up. I got to fine tune it a little bit. That's just a piece of tape to keep the wire from like flying off. So, what I need to do is, is to get the number 40 wire in, and I've been waiting like, I don't know how long, over a week for that, but eventually I'll get it. And then what I could do is put like a, um, like a dowel, drill a hole for a dowel in my light frame and bring the dowel across and have the coil, have the spool of wire be like here. And then, you know, let's say the spool of wire ends up here across with the dowels. Then I don't really have too far to go to like guide the wire back and forth to to load up on here. So the plan of attack is to despool this and I'll despool the wire here. And what I'll probably do is um, probably just put like a, a blank spool up here. I think I have a blank spool I could use. And then, um, you know, just kind of turn it where I could despool this. Count the number of turns as this goes around. Like that. And I have to tighten this drill a little bit. See, my problem is I didn't make it tight enough. But then when the drill goes around, I could count when it winds. And there it goes, counting like a champ. So I was really happy to get this counter for 28 bucks and the, the sensor was like another 18 bucks, I think. But it's going to make a lot of easier, a lot easier to uh, to wind this thing. I should be able to wind it like no one's business. So that's what I'm that's what I'm doing now. So so next thing I got to do is like dewind this and just wait for the wire. I just got to wait for this wire to come in. Who knows when it's going to be in? A week or whatever. And then I could you know continue with the project. So take it easy, folks. Have a great day. Bye. That's all, folks.